Hi there guys and welcome to another Blowdom episode. So if you are new to the channel, go and check it out other videos. Subscribe, leave a comment guys. It is very, very important that you do this. So if you are all subscribed to the channel, you would know that sometimes we do a little bit of, uh, not weather reports, but um, if there's anything in our area in the garden route that um, involves the rain and the fishing and um, everything like that, we like to come and check it out. So if he can't be here today, if he's busy with work, but I decided to come and check out the George Dam level. So last week the dam levels was at 87%, but we've had close to 100 millimeters. Some people reported between 75 and 100 millimeters of rain. So um, yeah, we've had a lot of rain in the George area specifically, but also in the other areas. So there's also been reports in the Eastern Cape last week of, of flooding in the Eastern Cape. And we just had a couple of videos sent in uh, the Montague area. There's roads that's been closed, Swartberg uh, Pass is closed. Uh, Maidens Port is closed so there's a couple of reports coming in from those areas of, of floods and, and severe weather and the roads has been closed but I am here at the Garden Root Dam today so not a lot of you know this but there's actually three uh, dams in George it's the old George Dam then there's the George Dam up in the mountains and then there is the Garden Root Dam so the Garden Root Dam wall has been was raised a couple of uh, years back they raised the wall and um, yeah this is all because the garden route is expanding, George is expanding, there's a lot of people moving down here but all of this water that is coming down and overflowing from this dam is actually going into the river and this all flows down to Kaiman's Estuary and this is where all of this comes in. Um, Kaiman's Estuary is one of our launch sites so yeah you might be thinking what has this got to do with fishing? This has got very much everything to do with fishing uh, because if we can't launch the Kaiman's, one of our favorite spots to go spear fishing um, and fishing for cob Oh, lovely spot to fish for cop but um yeah so i quickly came down to check because i want to go fishing this weekend so i quickly came down to check whether the, the dam is overflowing because if the dam is overflowing then times will be in flood and then uh it opens up the estuary mouth for us so i'm also going to head down to wilderness and then i might also go to Sedgefield to see how it's doing but um yeah um like i said the dam is definitely definitely flowing and i'll show you now how the how the the wind is also flowing and I'll show you a couple of videos on uh, oh it's noisy here but yeah there you can see George Dam overflowing quite nicely and on this side you can see you can clearly see the water flowing out so yeah that is excellent news uh, that's excellent, excellent, excellent news. Number one, that the dam is full at 100% capacity, it's overflowing. And then excellent news that the estuaries are opening up. Breeder River, oh, unfortunately guys, you all know we love to fish Breeder River for that monster cop and Gouritz. Um, there's been some good catches there. Uh, but Kleinbrak, Breeder River, Gouritz and Witsand, all those places will be out for at least a month with all this rain that was falling um, in the area. So yeah, um, unfortunately that's going to happen. I'm going to show you some of those Eastern Cape videos now, uh, the floods that was there, and then I'm going to also show you some of the Montiki videos, um, and I'll see if I can find some of the Swartberg um, Pass and Maiden Spurt videos as well. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who
Okay guys, now I'm here at the Wilderness uh, Estuary Mount. It's called the Toast River. Um, as you can see on the beach, there's a lot of debris here on the beach um, that's been washed out. Um, and that's what I was talking about. These, these um, floods or these rains when the estuary mounts open up, it clears out all this garbage. And sometimes when you're fishing, you get that um, grass and, and it's slime on your line. So, and this actually clears all of that out. So you can see a lot of stuff has been cleared out by the water. Um, yeah, so that is very, very good. This estuary mouth, a couple of days ago, I'd say three, four days ago, this estuary mouth was still closed. Um, normally they built like a little swimming pool. Yeah, and then when there's a lot of water that comes in, they can just open a little gutter for it. Um, and then that gutter will go wider and wider and wider. We made a video on that when they opened up um, Grootbrak River, the previous time there was heavy rains. I was there when they opened that up. So it was quite interesting to see how fast that water actually takes away that sand. So yeah, it's very interesting. Every single time there's, there's rain, the, the estuaries actually get shallower and shallower because the side walls keep on collapsing in. So like your chorids. Floods for chorids is not very good because where if it's a narrow channel of water that's flowing, it will, it will take out that sand in that little channel. But as soon as there's a mass of water coming down, it actually, that channel falls in and the sides of the estuary falls in and then um, the, the estuary gets shallower. So not always good for some estuaries, but for wilderness, this is perfect uh, that the estuary has opened up again. So yeah, you can see now masses of water still coming down. Yeah, and like I said, there was just a little stream coming down first, and then normally they built like a little swimming pool over here. They've got a little swimming pool that they built, but now as you can clearly see, this mouth is wide and open. And as far as you can see, the water is very, very dark. So definitely no spear fishing going on. Um, and now you'll have the, the spring tide at the current depth will start pushing water in on the spring tide. So there you can see the water is actually, the ocean is actually pushing back. So you can see the water pushing in from the spring tide, the water pushing in. And so you've got water coming down from the rain and you've got spring coming in. And that normally creates a very dangerous situation when you've got big, big, big seas. And that's actually what happened last year when um, we had that severe weather um, with a lot of damage to our beaches. Um, and, and that's actually what happened last year is that we had a lot of rain um, and then we had very big seas and the two combined you see that's what I just was talking about um, so there you can actually see what happens so the water carves away um, the sand and then the sand falls in so that sand will also go into the estuary now um, and that makes the estuary shallow and shallow and shallow but not in wilderness case this water will be taken out uh, that sand will be taken out a little bit um, by the by the current by the water it will be taken out the sand will be taken out and then for this mouth to stay open now because this is Kaiman's Sedgefield um, Wilderness, Kleinbrak, Grootbrak you need a current to go and drop the sand somewhere else because normally what happens is you get the, the water that comes the water opens it up it takes the sand out and it dumps it in front of the mouth but then you need a, a current to take that sand away and dump it somewhere else because the first big sea that you have it will just close that mouth again it will just hit all that sand back into the mouth and then that estuary is closed again so this is very good for um, and this is also a misconception some people think that the fish come into spawn in the estuaries um, there's a little bit of a debate about that because some people say yes they they need the estuaries to come and spawn um, and then there's the guys that say no they actually go out to spawn so in the comment section leave your thoughts about that um, whether you think the, the fish come into the estuary to spawn or do they go out to spawn. Um, I'm not a marine biologist so I don't know everything but I definitely know that we have a very healthy system as soon as our estuaries are open the whole system for fishing is, is very very healthy so the bait, uh, bait collection um, all that grass and the slime and all that stuff, the salt water it goes out and the salt water comes in and kills all that stuff. As soon as you've got that static water in your estuaries, make it very, very difficult and, and there's a lot of stuff that's growing um, in that water as soon as it's static. But yeah, you can clearly see very, very good news that um, this estuary is open and um, yeah, I've had some pretty amazing catches in this estuary. Younger Cobb, uh, Garrick, and all of these estuaries are actually connected. So. Your Langvlei, um, Ronnevlei, Swartvlei, 
uh, island lake and wilderness they're all connected i did a, a video where i rode all the way from sedgefield mouth to this mouth yes i did in three days i rode that uh, i was rowing and fishing and camping and sleeping so yeah if you haven't checked out that episode it was a three-day survival episode that i did uh, absolutely amazing so i know these estuaries very well i fished them for 15 years i fished these estuaries they they're, they're spectacular fishing in these estuaries especially um your island lake for for garrick swart play there's been two sa records that's been caught in, in swart play uh garrick's so yeah these estuaries they really do need some some um, salt water in them uh, for those fish to thrive and for the bait and everything to come in so this is very good news for me okay so i'm top here at dolphins point um, and this is one of our launch areas kaiman's estuary and what i'm seeing is i'm really excited about because um, it's what i spoke about earlier as you can see there is a little bit of sand there so it's clearly made a channel um, and it's just brown 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 water as far as you can see it's just brown water um yeah there's no sight of blue water so um yeah this is also very good news um the commons is, is uh, coming down nicely and that it hasn't created that normally when you have that flash floods it's so much water doesn't create a little channel so this mm, 75 to 100 millimeters of rain that we've had um, has created a nice little channel there on the side so that is really really good news for us um that want to uh, launch here so yeah i might i might be going out on saturday i just spoke to evie and uh, if uh, the water looks like this and the issue looks like this on saturday the seas are looking nice and flat we might uh, we might make a cop mission we might try and catch some cop deep sea fishing okay so now i'm down at the bottom part of kaimans um and the water has come down a little bit i'm quickly going to show you a video that was taken yesterday of kaimans um and i'll show you the logs how big the logs are that the water was carrying just to, to understand how much water was actually coming down in this area but here's the video from the videos from yesterday of of kaimans okay so um look at these <laughs> i mean this is pretty impressive um yeah this is big 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 pieces of wood that um has come down big trees not pieces of wood um there you can actually see it's um it's pretty pretty big pieces of of trees that came down here and uh, over here's another huge tree that uh, also came down And, and there you can hear the water and you can still see the, the amount of water that's still coming down. So there's still a lot of water that's running down this estuary. Um, and um, yeah, I hope I, this weekend will we'll start to settle a little bit. Because you don't want to go out when, we, when we're doing surf you don't want to go out on an outgoing tide. You, you want to do an incoming tide. Um, so yeah, that's... Um, but our all on site sits way over there and we drive along this little path um, it's the George Kiba club that we belong to and that's the reason we are allowed to to launch here we've got the key to the boom there's a boom up so it's safe and this is a nice spot um, there's always there's a little restaurant with kayaks and everything that you can hire it's a very very popular spot um, over December for kayaking um, around the corner if you go around the corner over there there's a little waterfall um, so yeah, this is this is a lot of this water is coming from the George Dam, um, and the waterfall should be spectacular. Um, from all of this water that's coming down, it should be really really spectacular. We've been to the waterfall a couple of times, and um, you can only get there by kayak. So a very popular spot for for people to come with their kids and kayak. And um, yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the update on what's going on weather-wise. Uh, check out the channel. There was some really, really nice fish that we caused the last couple of times. We went spear fishing. We got a couple of nice halyun, and then it was an episode where we did. Um, me and Derki went cracker fishing, and we caught some nice crackers and halyun. 
So subscribe to the channel. There's an update every Monday morning. There's an update that comes out about fishing, weather, what's going on in the garden route. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Leave a comment. See you in the next episode.